I'll tell you what, it, it's went from summer to fall, I guess kind of winter, very, very quick here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I've already done my top 10 fall fragrances for men. Um, check out that video if you haven't, as well check out my last video where I talk about my own fragrance brand, Bible 2 Fragrances. It's now here. But today, I want to continue with the fall series that I got planned, and that is seven great, easily affordable fragrances for this fall and even going into winter. Let's go. What's up, everybody? My name is Justin. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Bible 2 Fragrances. And yes, you heard correctly at the very, very beginning, I do have my own fragrance brand now. These are my first two fragrances. Links will be in the description as well as the pinned comments where you can check these out. But in addition to that as well, I also do have my Patreon account set up. Please check that out as well in the description and the pinned comment. I'm going to be giving away these four bottles right here. I got. I want to do more giveaways planned on my Patreon. But for those of y'all that want to do some extra support, you don't have to. You can check it out. But my Patreon, it'll help me produce more content and have more of a daily living in general. For those of y'all that really want to help support your boy, um, my Patreon will be in the description. The first thing I want to talk to you about is one that has caught a lot of attention in the fragrance community this year. And honestly, I would say this entire house, this entire brand has caught the attention of the fragrance community. This comes from the house of Latafa. And no, we are not going to talk about Camera. Instead, we're going to talk about Latafa's Eternal Oud. I got a picture to be right here. Um, so all of these fragrances I do not own, but I have experience with from samples like that. Um, I sold off a lot of my collection to invest in my brand. So if I don't have a fragrance, I hope you understand that. This one, man, Latafa is known for it's a Middle Eastern house, y'all don't know. It's known for having really nice, affordable fragrances that have great quality to them, great presentation. The top is Eternal Oud, no exception. To me, this is a amber, slightly fruity, spicy fragrance. Um, it does, to me personally, have a strong resemblance to Grand Soir by Maison Francis Kirk John right here, but I don't think it's a clone. There are, to me, there's definitely strong similarities, but not exact. If you have ever smelled Grand Soir, like that warm, amber, vanillic style fragrance, high quality, I get that in here quite a bit. But also you get this nice addition of this juicy plum note in the middle. Gives it a nice fruitiness. Um, plum is a great note to use in the fall, winter time. I noticed that for sure. I'm going to use that in a future release for my own brand. That's the toughest eternal oud. If you like more warm, ambery, vanillic fragrances, and if you like to know the plum, definitely check that one out. I'm going to leave the links below to all of these in the description to where you can check these out for the best price that I can find. The next fragrance I want to talk to you about comes from the house of Mercedes Benz. And no, we are not talking about Mercedes Benz Club Black. We're not talking about that. We're gonna talk about another fragrance that not many people talk about at all, that to me is better. This is Club, Pro Mercedes Benz Club Private? I think it's private, this right here. Listen, 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 listen. This is a fantastic fragrance. And I will say this, this has similarities to me with this. Bentley for Men, and another car company, Bentley for Men Intense, really heavily hyped in the community, rightfully so. This fragrance smells amazing. What I would say is this, for those of y'all that find Bentley for Men Intense too much with the leather or the incense or it's too bold, I strongly encourage you to try out Mercedes-Benz Private because to me, it's like a more tamed version of this, but it still has its own unique character. Um, Olivier Cresp made that one, and he's made a lot of Mercedes-Benz fragrances, which Olivier Cresp and Natalie Larson, the perfumer for this, I think they're from the same aroma chemical company. So like the, the, the DNA is like present between both. And Mercedes-Benz Private, man, I'm telling you, don't look, well, still look into Mercedes-Benz Club Black, look into it, but that to me is not worth all the hype it gets. It's solid, but this is much better it is woody, sweet, spicy, 
It's kind of got like, like this interesting, like a kind of boozy sweetness, even though there's no boozy note listed like it is in here. I kind of get it in that too. And it's got a nice green aromaticness a little bit. It's a woody, sweet, spicy scent. That is fantastic. Mercedes Benz Private. You know what? We're gonna keep on going with the uh, car company. <laughs> the next one we're gonna come talk about is from the house of Bentley. And no, it's not Bentley Man Intense that I just mentioned. A lot of y'all probably already know that. We're gonna talk about the brother, uh, Bentley for Man Absolute. This one right here. Yeah, I used to have this one back in the day. This one. Uh, okay, so there's a there's a legendary fragrance out there that the fragrance community talks about very highly. It's the discontinued, long discontinued Gucci Pour Homme one right here. I have never smelled that and I really want to. Uh, that's one of the big Gucci fragrances back in the day. And Michelle Omerak, who created that fragrance, he created Bentley for Me and Absolute. <laughs> and apparently there are strong similarities. So Bentley for Me and Absolute, man, this is a woody, spicy, smoky fragrance from the incense. It's a very woody, spicy scent. A lot of cedarwood and sandalwood combo with some black pepper, um, some pink pepper too. Um, it's really woody and spicy. Um, the incense gives it some nice depth. But when I had that, I really liked wearing that one. Um, I think that it's not it's not mainstream smelling at all. It does not smell like a lot of your mass market releases nowadays. Um, most of these fragrances in this list does not smell mass market, just to let you know. I, I don't like a lot of mass market stuff anyway now. But this is a fantastic release. Um, Michelle Amorak created it. If you like Woody Spice fragrances or you like his work, check out Bailey for Man Absolute. The next fragrance I want to talk to you about comes from an indie brand. A brand that I like quite a bit. I had a lot of their fragrances. This is from Happy Land Studios, based out of Ohio here in Louisville, Kentucky, E.J. Wells, owner of Perfumer. Um, I've bothered, bothered him quite a bit on Facebook <laughs> about like fragrance stuff. <laughs> and this is Amberland, this one right here. Now, I will say this, one of his cre creations I have right here, Cravat Noir, amazing release. This is one of the fragrances I will be giving away on my Patreon. Amberland is a fantastic, this is an amazing fragrance for those of y'all that want to explore what amber fragrances are like. Um, nowadays, when it comes to your modern releases, your, your mainstream releases in apartment stores, there's not there's not any amber releases coming out nowadays. You, you typically experience more amber dominant fragrances on the niche side of fragrances nowadays or indie. You don't see it in mass market. So if you want to know what a great true amber style fragrance is, with amazing performance, amazing longevity, beast mode, what you want to call it. Amberland is that. It's an amber vanillic fragrance. It's got a little bit of this like leathery, slightly smoke on its own from the labdanum in here. But it is a great one that works just amazingly well in the fall and the winter. Even nighttime to me, like nighttime occasions year round. Amberland is an a great release. Um, Ross, good friend from TLTG Reviews, I'll be mentioning him. He is a big fan of this fragrance. Recently on his channel, uh, on this top, I think top 10 Happyland Studio fragrances, it's made his top 10. Watch that video. That's Amberland Happyland Studios. The next fragrance I want to talk to you about is one that I also had in the past. I got experience with all of these, I just don't have the bottles anymore. This comes from the house of Roberto Cavalli, and no, I'm not gonna talk about Roberto Cavalli Golden Anniversary that's getting a lot of attention here recently. That's a new release from this year. No, we're not gonna talk about that one. I've never smelled it. Instead, we're gonna talk about the original Womo. Man, okay, I really want to explore this house more and just kind of sample and try out a lot of their releases from this Womo line. Um, apparently, I think they're all getting discontinued from what I've heard. I could be wrong, but that would be a shame because just off the original Womo, Oh my goodness. Very interesting, unique, and not mainstream. This is a powdery violet, honey, saffron fragrance. And the saffron gives it like this like leathery undertone. There's some woodiness from cedarwood and patchouli. This is a very sexy fragrance. Very sexy fragrance. 
and you can find it for such an affordable price point. I would take this over any other fragrance that you can find locally in your Macy's that are generic and boring as hell. The honey in here gives this nice, unique, syrupy sweetness, but it's not overly sweet because it's balanced really well by the violet, the lavender in here as well, and the woodiness at the base. The saffron, oh my goodness. Um, Christoph Reynaud, I think is his name. I want to try a lot more of his work because I've just there's, there's been several I've had from that's been made by him that I have really enjoyed. And this is Roberta Valley Womo, a great one for a affordable price point. This next fragrance I want to talk to you about is one that did get hyped in the community. Um, typically, what happens is I won't throw out any names, but whenever certain fragrance influencers and YouTubers on YouTube, uh, on YouTube they, they say, this is it, this is it. The hype just immediately builds, but it comes with having a big following, you know. This comes from the House of Halloween, uh, or I think it's just who's the Pozo now. And this is Halloween Man X. This one right here. Um, I will say this. This is a good fragrance. Um, it does get compared a lot to Salvatore Ferragamo's Womo Signature. I have not smelled that, but I really want to try that out because I had I had the original Womo, but that one's that one I want to try. This is a nice dark roasted coffee, unique kind of whiskey cinnamon fragrance. Um, some leathery undertones at the base too. But if those of y'all that want to get more into trying coffee fragrances, I think this is a nice coffee fragrance. There is a little bit, a little bit of some mainstream vibes going in here. A little bit, but it's not overly done. So there's still uniqueness in here that makes it really interesting. Because how many times do you see a coffee dominant fragrance in department stores? Uh, Macy's is like that. You don't really not anymore um but this is a really solid release and that is halloween man x if you haven't tried it yet because i know it's been hiding the community definitely try that one now it's a nice one this last fragrance i want to talk to you about you must like woody fragrances specifically vetiver dominant fragrances and if you know you know you know what i'm about to say because my house of lalique and this is lalique's encre noir a la Extreme. this one right here yeah, um, I have tried, I've had this one and the Lix Encre Noir Sport. I've never tried the original Encre Noir though, but this, the quality <laughs> for the price point that you can get is ridiculous. And the All Out Extreme version, you have a lot of this woody, vetiver, cedarwood. You got some cypress in here to give like a little bit of like this green aromatic tinge, but you got a lot of incense in here and like a lot of this warm, ambery nature from the benzoin, if not in the other ones. This is a great release. It clearly smells like it's built for the fall and winter time. Uh, it's a great release. Um, Lalique's Encre Noir Sport, I think you can wear that year round as a signature. But when it comes to the cooler weather, Lalique's Encre Noir, I like string. Man, quality for the price. That's what Lalique does though. Check that one out. That's all I got for y'all today, man. These are fragrances right here, seven of them that you can find for a great affordable price point. I'll leave the links below to all these. Have you tried any of these? Also, let me know in the comment section below what are some great affordable fragrances that you have in your collection that I didn't mention in here. Let's share some recommendations to other people in the comment section below. While we're at it, we should check out Files of Fragrances from yours truly. That's all I got for y'all today, man. I hope you have a nice day, nice evening. Till next time.